a show of ten. It's possible. We don't know exactly the running time yet. It's hard to know that until you really get the dress rehearsal. Um, we think it's going to be somewhere between two and two and a half hours. So it's possible that. <laughs> My character is very cruel, he's very controlling, but he, and deep down inside, he's just very uh, screwed up, and I think that's mainly why he's just... Uh, is, that, is that why you relate to him so well? I, I would have to agree on that, yes. There's a couple of voice issues going on. Hopefully won't interfere with what you hear, but just be patient when there's a bit. And finally, if you have any cell phones with you, or...
Yo. Good evening, y'all. How are you tonight? Well. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Saying, how are you? Hope you're doing very well. We got a show to do. Gonna make you laugh and cry all darn night. So if you're gonna leave, then yes, please do so. But if not, you know to please sit tight. Please sit tight. I said, you just might see how Yampa can take off in flight. <laughs> girls made it for homecoming court and the queen. Oh, you got that? Let me see. I can't let you see it. It's supposed to be a secret. And besides, you guys don't want to know this queen. Oh, come on, Ryan. It can't be that bad. Oh, you want to bet? Oh, come on. Who are we going to tell anyway? Shh. Just the entire school is all. I know you two. You'll start taking bets on who the winner is. And then... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We wouldn't do that. Scout's honor. You were never a scout. Come on. <laughs> Just tell us. I shouldn't trust you two. Oh, come on. Don't be such a wuss. Shut up, Bert. Well, just whispering. Funny, Bryce. Okay, so you know it came down to the final three, right? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tara, Syl, and Diane. Only the three meanest girls on campus. True that. Just remember, it's not my fault. <laughs> <sighs> Oh no, Bert! Look! Oh my god, I don't believe this. Ryan! Ryan! How'd you let this happen? I told you it's not my fault. I did everything I could to make the other judges hate her. You know, she's probably the most hated girl on campus. No doubt, of the three, she's the worst. I know, I can't stand her. I don't know why those other guys voted for her. Probably because she's dating. Tim. What's the team got to do with it? She's his girlfriend and he's the team captain. Not to mention the biggest guy at school. Would you want him mad at you? Man, you guys should have seen her resume. It was loaded. She's done so much community service, it's not even funny. Oh, yeah, I've heard about her community oh, service. Oh. <laughs> I can't stand this girl. Right? Who else knows about this? Whoa. Well, well, what do you mean? I mean, who else knows about the name of the winner? Well, just me. I counted the votes. But wasn't Mr. Garcia supposed to be there? He was, but he had a phone call. He told me to count the names and tell him the winner when I was done. I was going down to his office right now. So we three are the only ones that know the name of the winner. Well, yeah, I guess so. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking what you're and thinking. And I think, oh, no, no, no way, man, no way could I ever do that. I could get in so much trouble. Oh, come on. All we have to do is change one little name on that slip of paper. Yeah, think of it. We can make the queen be whoever we want. We can even make it be Suzanne. Suzanne. Oh, look! She didn't even go out for queen. We could say it was a rotten vote. Queen by popular demand. Oh, come on, that's yeah. stupid. Who would believe that we could ever have a rotten homecoming queen? Besides, I know I'd get caught. Who's gonna know? God. Mr. Garcia. But you said you haven't told them the name yet. So what's the problem? I'll get caught. So what? What's the worst that could happen? I could get suspended. A small price paid for the honor of your school. Yeah! Oh, forget it, guys. She's our queen, and we have no choice. I can't believe you, Ryan. You're be a wuss. You know that? I can't believe you have an opportunity to fix this situation, and you won't take it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, it's not my fault. It is if you can do something about it, and you don't. Yeah. Come on, guys. She's not that bad. She she I know, but all three of them are. Yeah, and she's the worst. You know her mom doesn't have an apple delivered to her front door for no <laughs> Forget it, guys. She was the one chosen, and there's nothing I can do about it. You mean nothing you will do about it? Whatever, Bryce. You know, there's one good thing about this whole business, Bert. Yeah, what's that? We'll be in the locker room when he has to crown her. I hear you, guys. Come on, let's go, Bert. Yeah, see you later. Have yeah, a good time crowning us, guys. queen, you old hog.
This, this here is Guile. A middle-aged man who was recently discharged from the Navy as a sergeant. He's got wit, arms, and an ego. He's one bad mother. You don't want to mess with Guile. Georgie. This here is Georgie, AKA Bust a Cat. <laughs> this ruthless homeboy is the meaning de living definition of the word. Gangsta. Yeah, he's a juvie. He needs to get the cash flow for his girlfriend, Ruby. <laughs> Skedaddle there. See you on the street, homeboy. Wait. Ah, yes, Mac, Mac. This is Mac, a 23-year-old man who escaped from the Larry Mental Health Center. This guy is just plain mad. Yeah, he won the award for Ted Bundy two years in a row. Nice award there, Mac. Ah, oh, yes, Jake. <laughs> Not much to say about this cat. He's just a hippie gone bad. <laughs> he was kicked out of college for bad grades. <clears throat> Real friendly, spiritual, and usually completely baked. Take care, Jake. <laughs>
This is an outrage. First you don't give me my $200 for my past go, and now you don't cash my check from the Reading Railroad. I'm out to hear with this bank. Who do you think you are? Excuse me, excuse me. There's no cherry suckers in the sucker cup. No cherry. Wait your turn, you little imp. What's going on here? Oh, you you want to 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 aren't at all. Silence! For I am the manager of the bank. <laughs> you, I've seen you around here before. Why should I answer that question, you blummery oaf? Your old employee won't cash me. Silence! Me. I have seen you around here, buying up all the property with your big bags of money. And you, what makes you think you can come in here and take all of our cash? <laughs> These suckers are for paying customer. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> These suckers are for paying customers only. It's slackers like you who are causing the declaration of society. <laughs> And quit your whining! <laughs> Back in Korea, if you had wine, they would have cut off your legs and feed them to the carnivorous kangaroos. <laughs> and you! You have to let these scumbags in. And you! Keep up the good work. Now I think it's time for my medications. I have spoken! Uh, you know, about that thing. I need that chicken. Hands up! Hands up! Now to the floor, to the floor immediately. Down, face down. Oh, how you doing there, young lady? Now here's what's gonna happen. You are gonna give Guy two million dollars in unmarked twenty. No questions asked. I was wondering why we even pay people to work in this bank. I could do oh, that painful. Well, as you can see, that was a Vulcan nerve pinch. He'll be out for a while. Keep going. Listen up, lady. I need all the money in this mother. Make it snappy, you hurt. Put it in here. <laughs> Gal doesn't like what he sees here. Gal's gonna have to take this bogey down. Folk, what'd you say to me? You know who you're dealing with? I bust the cap, homie. Well, of course you are, one. You talking back to me? Folk, you wanna get dealt with? Gal don't like the way you talk. You're about to be discharged. All right, four. I'm really flipped out. I'm waiting. It's all bloody. All the great now. How many people are trying to rob Giles Bank anyway? Giles Bank. Bank. I came here first. I came here first. I come back, fool. Hey, hey. Yes. Oh, here under the skies. Shh. For the purpose of taking a little bit of money from you guys, if it's not a problem. <laughs> hey, why all the long faces? <laughs> My face is long. Is that what you think of me? Oh, why? Yeah, man, cool. But like, <clears throat> could we like hurry it up a little bit? Cause Little Jake here is in a huge hurry. Thanks. <laughs> this is enough. Which one of you guys wants the money? I want the money. You want the money? You want the money? You want the money? You want the money? Oh, what is going on here? <clears throat> well, see, little Jake and I came to the bank so we could rob it. But, like, these people also came to rob it. So. <laughs> So, uh, what are we gonna do about this? Yeah. Uh, I'm here first. Whose money's gone? Who's my money? Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I think that we should all sit down in a big circle and work this out. How do you feel about I that? I got no money. Really? It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be great. No! No! Yes, yes. <laughs> Without guns? Yes. Come on. Hand it over. Come on. Thank 
Thank you. Now let's start the circle here. Come on. Can you try? No. Yes. No. Yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're all getting rid of these guns. No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> young little pissant, he would show no respect. Guy's folks were ashamed of Guy. They neglected Guy. And then they sent Guy away to the Navy so they could rent out his room for $50. 50 oh, Well, and all the Guy ever wanted to do was, was to follow his heart, which was to sit under a shady tree or frolic through the land like a fairy in a fountain and write poetry about the woman that he loved oh so very much. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, why don't you share some of your poetry with us? Because I'm feeling that under this tough army man exterior, there's a really beautiful person. Yeah. And maybe is. that's coming out through your poetry. So yeah. why don't you uh, share that? Maybe you're right. Well, I can't. I guess I do it. Not good. 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 Made for yours, Guy's lips long for yours, and all that Guy ever wanted in life was to be in love with you. The end. Yeah. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is that you? Remember me? I'm Monica. Monica? I never thought I'd see you again. Oh, God, I never thought I'd see you either. I love you. Oh, Monica, God loves you too. <laughs> Thank you. This is a great This is great. Good job. Whoa, man! I just totally had like a flashback or something. <laughs> don't Jake and I know you? What you talking about? You don't know me? Especially that fool that buys off my Mary Jane. Nah, man, like Jake and I went to high school with you. Remember me? No, you don't yeah, know me, man. Yeah, man, no, I, I know. know you. I don't think you do. I remember. You don't know me. Jake and I you don't remember. Know me, man. Just drop it out. You know I me. remember, now, man. Now, guys, no, really, I'm feeling like this is kind of disturbing harmony that we've got going in here. All right, fine. Yeah. You caught me. I wasn't always like this. I used to be different. A few years ago, I moved to New York City. All the homies thought I was weird. They were gangsters. <laughs> I wanted to fit in, to be like them. I decided to change. I thought if I were like them, they'd like me. I started sagging and wearing baggy pants. And you know those are all gateway activities to a life of crime. Absolutely. <laughs> it was all because I knew if I didn't act like them, I'd never have any friends. That's terrible. But let me tell you something really important. It's really really essential that you realize that loving yourself is really more important than being loved by others. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but it sucks not to have no friends. You yes, gotta, but gotta be like when you love yourself, the friends will just kind of come to you. And you know, if you think about it, everyone here today will be your friend after this. Yeah. 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 friend. Yeah, you're my friend. Yeah. Great, guys, great. Now, the Mac. Let's, let's talk about you. You want to talk about me? Why do we always have to talk about me? That's all people ever want to do, is talk about me. Well, I'm really feeling some issues from you, and I'm also feeling like your energy is saying something about an unfulfilled childhood. Tell us about that. Okay, you want to know my story? Yes. All right, see, when I was little, I was always told that I was stupid and crazy. Cause you know, I was always the kid who failed the spelling test. Yeah, go in the corner, Mac, time out, Mac. You know? And then, when I was 16, my, my parents had me sent away and they, they committed me to the Larry Mental Health Center. And, yeah, on my 16th birthday. Happy birthday! No, it's not my birthday. No, no, no. Guys, no, no, no.
Here's what we're going to do, all right? I want you to sit up and close your eyes. As if this is just something that people have pushed on to you. How do you feel deep down inside, Matt? Hey, maybe you're right. You know, I never really thought there was anything wrong with me besides a slight twitch. <laughs> you're right. They made me believe it. This is a great yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Have a big group hug. I think that'd be great. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Group hug. Group hug. Come on, guys. Forehead. Well, as you can see, they live happily, living in I said peace and harmony. And the security man. But he and his money grow high and free. Well, we all have problems to begin until you find out what's within. As you can see, the pen. 